y'all. Um, I'm holding the camera this way because this is the only angle where the sun is not like absolutely beating down. So I do apologize for not properly ending the vlog last night. Um, I woke up this morning and my throat is on fire. Um, this weather change, I'm I'm not sure what's going on. I feel like because the AC's on in my house and it's blazing hot outside, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not really feeling too well. Um, Kendall's not feeling too well either, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Happy Saturday, y'all. Um, the internet is still off. I, and I just feel like if it's going to be off for this long period of time that they need to compensate us in some way because it, it's just not fair. Um, now I have to sacrifice not putting vlogs up, but it's okay. By the time this goes up, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put back-to-back-to-back vlogs because I don't want y'all <clears throat> waiting or I don't want to get behind schedule or anything. So right now we're at Dick's, but I'm just sitting in the car because I just do not have the energy. Um, Kendall needed some athletic tape today's his game so they're playing unc penbrook and i'm not going because the game is at 7 p.m and yeah so typically the game lasts for about three 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 and a half hours so it's going to be over you can't really determine the time that football is going to be over because you have to keep in time um keep in mind that there's injury timeouts there's timeouts there's there's half times and stuff like that. So three hours, three and a half hours. Um, then you have to wait till the team gets out the locker room. They shower. Then the team has to pack up the bus. Although I really don't have to wait for the team. Still um, leaving UNC Pembroke. I guess that's in Pembroke. I don't I, I don't really know where that is. Um, it's two hours and ten minutes away. Um, I don't want to be driving at night. I just don't. I don't want to be driving at 11, 10 o'clock at night, you know, so, and nobody else is going, so, it's not that I'm a bad girlfriend, it's just, you know, so, yeah, so I'm staying home today, um, I have a babysitting gig tonight, um, which I'm pretty hyped about, um, the lady still hasn't contacted me back, so even if she does contact me, I don't think I want to, um, I don't think I necessarily want to just do it because I, I don't, mm, I'm not feeling it. But yeah, all right, y'all. So, oh my gosh, what do I have on my face? So I'm just saying, here. I feel like complete crap. I look like complete crap too. Um, I just got off FaceTime with my cousin. Um, so that was good talking to her and just, I don't know, just just talking sometimes talking to somebody in your family about family stuff and just life somebody that's known you basically almost all your life you know it feels good we're a year apart so she understands what i mean and everything so yeah it was good talking to her um kendall has left to go to campus i don't understand why they had to go so early because their game's not till seven and the game's two hours away so i don't understand why they had to be there at 12 30 but whatever so I won't see him until later. Probably not until like one or two in the morning. Mm. So I'm about to get ready to get to go to this um luncheon and then head over to babysit. Hey y'all, so I didn't get back on camera to let y'all know this, but as I was getting ready to almost step out the door, the girl um, my coworker that was hosting a little luncheon, she said that she was tied up at her house and she couldn't do it t um, at three, so we could meet at seven. So I told her, you know, I'm babysitting, so I can't make it. And yeah, so I obviously didn't go. Um, luckily, the cable just came back on, so hopefully the internet's on, so I can put up this vlog because, uh. <laughs> So, um, I just, I'm sorry. I just have to keep talking about these nails. So, my roommate just got her nails done. Um, typically, when I get my nails done, I like the coffin shape. And she got hers done the coffin shape, a nice pink color. Although, I'm going for darker colors because it's, it's fall and everything. But it looks so cute. I'm like, how much you pay for that? And she's like, $53. 
I'm sorry, y'all. Call me cheap and everything. But if I'm spending $53 at the nail salon, it's because I got a pedicure and I got my nails done. Like, I, I cannot. Like, literally, even pay $40 for my nails. I feel like this isn't worth $40 like, at all. This, honestly, for all this, I should have just sat down and got a regular acrylic set. Like, this is not... Y'all, so I just made it to Durham, um, and I'm heading over to their house now. I'm about, it's so unsafe. I'm about 18 minutes away, so which means I'll get there around like 6:08, and their reservations are for 6:30. So she's 10 minutes away, so I feel like that's good enough time for her to tell me what I need to do and be out of the house and all that good stuff. Um, so what was I was about to say, I, I feel so bad, like, okay, I already explained to y'all why I wasn't going to Kendall's game and everything, but I was just talking to him on the phone, and he just sounded kind of down, and I feel bad, um, I didn't want to go by myself, but I didn't know his, um, his cousin, his older cousin was thinking about going, but she didn't want to go by herself, I completely forgot, because she wasn't at last week's game because she went out of town for another football game so we never discussed it i just automatically assumed nobody was going which is bad i mean we could have went together and just you know i feel bad y'all i feel like a horrible girlfriend for not going to my boyfriend's game and it's in the same state and it's only two hours away maybe i should have just sucked it up and still just like drove there you know I mean, he said he understood He understood why I wasn't going and everything, but still. So, you know, and then he he called his um, cousin, and she was just like, well, I asked Drea if she wants to go, and we can go together. And then I was like, y'all forgot. I already promised somebody that I was going to babysit um, their kid, and I don't want to, like, you know, if I'm going to cancel on, like, a babysitting gig, I want to do it in, like, at least a day in advance not a few hours before so I, I just feel horrible but um babe I'm so sorry you know I love you you know you my rock and you gonna go out there and do well but I feel like a horrible girlfriend that's probably what I'm gonna call this vlog Drea the horrible girlfriend <laughs> so I'll see y'all when I get to the house so I'm here at the house and I just want to show y'all what this house looks like because it's so so beautiful so I'm at the front door and this is their dining room area and i just thought it was so beautiful um sorry my camera's not focusing but like they have some owl paintings which i think is so cute and then they have a downstairs bathroom but this living room is to die for look at this sorry it's not there you go it's so cute and then it opens up into the kitchen and you go upstairs the nurseries there in the bedrooms it's so nice i just thought i should show y'all really fast hey y'all so i'm using my light again um i'm talking kind of low because i just put him to sleep um by the way if i didn't mention i'm babysitting a little boy um he's upstairs asleep and his room is like right above like right near the stairs and i didn't close the door but um he's a really good baby honestly um i just put on one of his favorite shows i forgot what it's called huggle something I'm not, I don't remember, Henry Hugglesworth, I don't know, something like that, and um, he cried a little bit after his parents left, which is understandable, you know, if my parents left me without any notification, left me with some strange black girl, I'll be kind of scared too, um, but then he sat, he ate his dinner, um, he watched Henry Huggle whatever, sorry, I gotta scratch my nose, <laughs> Henry Huggle whatever, for some time and I attempted to put him to sleep around like eight because he looked tired and I took him up there and he cried for a little bit so I brought him back downstairs and around like 8 22 went back to sleep but anyways yeah so um right now I'm just sitting here chilling it's about 8 52 and his mom said that she'll probably be out to like 9 30 10 which is which is cool um I'm just watching Kendall's not watching I'm like refreshing um the page so i'm like reading the live stats of kendall's game and liberty game liberty's game and kendall's game seems to be going good so far it's the third quarter and it's 10 to 6 and they're 6 which is really good because the last few games that i watched took them like a while to score so Prada bay
just made it home. Um, they got there around like 9.30 on the dot. So it was nice. It was a good time. You know, um, the house was clean. I love that. It, it was a beautiful house. Nice family. The little boy was very, very good. So no complaints. Um, so they lost. The team lost. And I feel bad because they lost by 10. And so far, if you're keeping score with me, um, they're 0-3. and three. And I just feel bad because he... He doesn't like the fact that they're losing, you know, and he takes losing very seriously. And it's just like most of the time from Saturday till Monday, if I'm lucky, Tuesday, it's not good because Bay's like really upset about how the game went. He's usually playing with an injury, so that never goes like, y'all pray for me. If you date an athlete, comment down below what you do to help your boyfriend or girlfriend feel good at feel better after losing a game. Like for I need help. For real, for real. Calm me down below. Hey y'all. So I got home and my roommate decided that she wanted to have people over and everything. So yeah, I've been here chilling. Y'all know I'm not too much in the party scene anymore. Got that all out in the past. But there was a party going on upstairs and there's a freaking crack in the ceiling so it was it was crazy but um Bay's here and we're about to just chill for the night I really do not feel well so I'm about to lay down just and I got two vlogs up so I hope y'all liking those vlogs and <laughs> love y'all <laughs>